Right, today we're gonna have a quick little quick little video, a little video of me literally all I want to do is take tar off. Uh, I'm gonna clean the disc up, gonna replace the valve and put new sealant in it. Um, and just check how true this wheel is. Uh, it's my front wheel. Um, this hasn't thrown a spoke yet. Um, so yeah, basically we can give this a good once over as we've got the other one off um, and have a look. Well, you can see where it's, um, the tire marks. You can see where it's folded a couple of times though. So yeah, basically gonna have this off, have a, give it a clean up, give it a good sort out and uh, redo it as we're in lockdown. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this disc rotor off. Um, you don't have to be too precious how you take them off um, because we're gonna clean it up um, using clutch cleaner and brake cleaner and all that lot. So, a little bit of oil on the brake disc itself now isn't gonna make a difference. However, when you come to reinstall them, either wear gloves or try not to touch that this, as you can see at the moment, the shiny surface, so your braking surface. Otherwise, you will put contaminants on there and that will go to your pads. So, yeah, literally just gonna take it off. Nothing special here. Six bolts, you can always see I've taken two out already. Um, yeah. Back to it. I've actually misplaced my core remover tool. Um, so we're gonna have to go the old fashioned way. Wait. So, take as much air out of the tire as possible. Here we That'll probably do it. Right, we've just put the wheel back on the bike without the tire on. That way then when we spin it, we can double check to just see how true it actually is. Make sure it's not buckled or bent. And to be honest with you, that one's running fairly good. Yep, happy with that. Right, we've given the disc a little sand over now just for some 400 grit just on the outside edge. Just take the shine off of it. Um, literally just gonna be replacing the bolts back in um, I like to get them so they're like hand tight if you like so just finger tight down they're just nipping and holding and then opposites so if you tighten that one down 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 and that one down so if you like just one four two five three or six three and that way then you'll tighten it down equally throughout the hub. So now comes the fun bit. We've got to try and get the tire back on, get it seated, let it down, take the valve out, put your sealing fluid in and then get it back up to pressure again. Um, yeah. I do enjoy doing this. All right, so. Work it round. <laughs> All right. Track pump with canister. Pump this up, shock the tire. That's the thought, anyway. Right. Let me try trying to do. 
which means we're not completely seated everywhere. So, turn it. So if you look guys, what we've got down here is this black ring, yeah? And as you come around, it disappears, right? Which means it's, the band isn't sitting in the rim correctly. So we've got to pump the pump back up and then try and shock it back into place. Take two. Can. Hope it goes. Bow, bow. All right, now these are 29 wheels, and I do mainly trail riding. So, bottle suggests anywhere between 105 and 140. So, the muck off stuff that I use has a handy little guide down the side of how much you're using. Just, you know, in case anyone cared. So, yep. Touch. Touch. Upside down, so that, right. Right, pinch off at the valve. Turn it upside down, that should all then trickle back in. Right, valve back in. Top on. Now, one of the most important things to do is actually rotate your wheel because otherwise the sealant is sitting at the bottom and that's no good to anyone. So make sure you rotate it, lay it flat, give it a, a little bit of a disco roller on there, get the fluid working around, do it on both sides. That way then any leaks that do happen, you should be covered. But one of the most important things to do, make sure you move the wheel after installation. Well, that's that done then for the time being. We've now got front wheel all sorted out, new valves put in, new sealant put in, brake discs um, cleaned, brake pads have been cleaned up as well. I'll show you a video of how to do that when I'm doing the rear one as well. Um, so like and subscribe, otherwise you won't see that. Um, so yeah, basic. it's just basic maintenance stuff really guys, but we're all locked in. It's not like we can do anything. You know, you may as well take it off. You may as well have a good clean up. You may as well have a good sort out. At the moment, my rear wheel, um, which like I said, that video is ongoing. It's in the process of being made. Um, I've taken all the rear cassette off, cleaned it all up. Not only because you have to when you're obviously changing your spokes just to make it easier but also as well you may as well it's not like we're not we're not riding at the moment we're not getting anywhere any trails you know so now's the perfect time to keep yourself occupied to just do little bits and bobs on your bike i think the valves cost me i think they were seven quid like and it's just something cheap just to just to get you on something you know most of us will have sealant laying about so it's not exactly like that cost you anything yes it's you know pence pence at the moment matter but your mental health matters as well and just getting out and doing 45 to a, minutes to an hour worth of working on your bike you'll be surprised how much that affects you how much it changes your outlook so like and subscribe please guys and yeah 
we'll see you very soon. Uh, right, hello guys. Um, my oh, shit. Should we fucking start that again, shall we?